India and China as major civilizational countries and also for our great relationship we need more and more you know culture ambassadors cultural messengers I just told the other friends that uh, Tai Gar is what uh, Robert Tagore's name in Chinese. We call him Tai Gar. He is very popular. Uh, China is the only country who has everything Tagore wrote translated into Chinese. And also in Jerry uh, my office sponsored one section of the art gallery. Uh, where it houses all the Chinese texts of these books. So uh, I can tell you, Tego has impacted Chinese for uh, during the last eight, um, you know, um, since 19, uh, it's almost 100 years. It's almost 100 years since Tego's first visit to China. He has impacted Chinese during the last century because he visited China in 1924. And then uh, he visited again. He was received warmly by the academics, by intellectuals, by great artists of China. To learn Chinese um, will give people here uh, many more options regarding their career, regarding their you know, uh, future uh, business establishment. And more importantly, uh, China and India as major civilizations on earth, we need people who can, who have good command of the language of the other. So, uh, third language, which we have start uh, Chinese. So, that is, I mean, I don't the flight line is other other languages, French, Chinese, German, Chinese. That we are planning to I think we are very lucky that you know we got the opportunity. Everything fell into place, uh, and we uh, Chinese language to introduce uh, His Excellency uh, Honorable Zhao Liu. Uni the um, Chinese consul in Kolkata. Uni launch korche ni program taake. Ye aaj ke uh, invent taake. The school was providing us with the classes of the new language. That, that's why I enrolled in the Chinese language. It's it's a good scope to learn a new language, which it helps us a lot in the future.